Now, on this one, I want us to look at a very important thing. You know, one of the things is I say my people perish due to lack of knowledge. Have you ever asked yourself, why do angels appear in the form of humans? This is a major reason why angels appear in the form of humans. Angels or God's spirits, they don't look like man. They are not men with white beard and white feathers, you know, stuff like that. Mm, they don't look like that. In fact, when you read ancient script that describe how God's angel appears to men in Revelation, <laughs> you will be fearful. So, the idea that you go to a church or you go to a place and they say the angels of God are white and they have feather is a lie. In fact, when you see God's angels in their original form, you will think it is the same demon that you are seeing that they are painting around. As a Christian, for example, or as a Muslim, if you see the real angel of God, you will start asking for Allah, or blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. And imagine I'm one of the angels. I don't understand. Which one is the blood of Jesus? And God's angel say, no, I bind you. Because God's angel are dreadful according to the Bible. But have you asked yourself, why is it that in our present age, the media and artists have decided to draw images that are dreadful and we call them demons? Because even the Bible still said it. He says Satan has come and has disguised itself as the angel of God. Has disguised himself as God. So men worship Satan instead of God. The truth is this. Majority of the time, the images you see with horn and feathers and teeth and eyes with different heads and different hearts, they are actually God's angels. Hmm? For example, look at this image. You will say this is demon and you will bind this thing if you see it in your dream. But this is actually an angel of God as described in the Bible, if you don't know. So you ask yourself, why have I not seen this? You've not seen it in drawing, you're already chatting blood of Jesus. Is it when you see it in the dream or when it stands? And so you find that in the Bible, our patriarchs, according to history, God sent his angel to people like Abraham but they have to come in form of man so that they can receive the message. You get it? That is the only way they come in form of man. That is the only way an angel of God will come in form of a Christian who will walk up to and tell you that, don't do this. That is why the angel of God will take the form of a drunkard along the road, along the road, and will give you a message and will say, ah, a drunkard. That is why the angel of God will come as a form of what? An old man and talk to you. That is why the angel of God will come in the form of a dog, dragging your leg so that you will not go because if you go, accident will kill you. So angels of God, God cannot even allow his angels in their real form to appear to you. The whole world will scatter. If two angels can destroy the whole world within five minutes, five minutes is even too much. Eh? So the next time when you talk about God, don't look at God as one man with white beard sitting on a throne. Look at God as look at God as something you cannot even ever say. Don't even think of how it looks like. Look at the angels of God, the spirits of God, the messengers of God in the spiritual realm as great lions with the, with feathers, with horns and eyes all over their body. Dreadful things that you cannot even apprehend. But I know you will know because you say it's the demon itself. The devil has actually talked. The devil is the one that can come and appear to you. Eh? And majority of the time, don't worry, time will tell that even the picture you put on your this in as Jesus is actually demon and not Jesus. <laughs>